Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on pilonidal sinus disease. Pilonidal sinus disease is a disease of the intergluteal region, characterized by the formation of a sinus in the cleft of the buttocks. It most commonly affects males aged 16 to 30 years. For pathophysiology, pilonidal sinus disease development starts from a hair follicle in the intergluteal cleft becoming infected or inflamed. This inflammation obstructs the opening of the follicle, which extends inwards, forming a pit, which is a characteristic feature of pilonidal sinus disease. A foreign body type reaction may then lead to formation of a cavity connected to the surface of the skin by an epithelialized sinus tract. The risk factors are Caucasian males with coarse dark body hair, prolonged sitting, increased sweating, buttock friction, obesity, poor hygiene, or local trauma. Pilonidal sinus disease most commonly presents as a discharging and intermittently painful sinus in the sacrococcygeal region. Shown in picture A, a pilonidal abscess can form when a pilonidal sinus becomes infected. This will present as a swollen and erythematous region. On examination, there will be a fluctuant and tender mass. Picture B shows a pilonidal abscess. The main distinguishing feature compared to a perianal fistula is that a pilonidal sinus does not communicate with the anal canal. If there is any uncertainty on initial inspection, a rigid sigmoidoscopy or MRI imaging can be performed to assess for any internal opening of a tract. Conservative treatment of a pilonidal sinus involves shaving the affected region and plucking the sinus free of any hair that is embedded. Any accessible sinuses can be washed out with water to prevent infection. Whilst antibiotics can be used in septic episodes, any abscess present will require surgical drainage. For any pilonidal abscess that has developed, an incision and drainage with washout is required. Whereas treatment of chronic disease is the removal of the pilonidal sinus tract. Multiple techniques for this have been described, including excision and laying open, excision and primary closure, excision and advancement flaps, such as Karydakis procedure or AVY flap, or excision and rotational flaps such as Limburg flap. That's all for this video. Thank you.